Hello, my Bill for Thousand Nation. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's having a great day. If not, no, it gets better from here. We are back with another watcher. This that <laughs> We are back with another watcher Wednesday. That's right. This one is titled, Are You Scared of the Devil That Lives Inside of You? Or the let the devil that lives inside you. There's no of. I don't know why I put of. All right. I'm excited to get into this story and for more than one reason. Because, uh, as you noticed, the beginning of this video, the intro was slightly different. That's right. I'm going to start putting that on the ones that we're classifying as, you know, the spookier side. Like, you know, whenever we do like nukes, uh, scary watcher stories and stuff like that. So I figure play around with a little bit. Why not? Had a little bit of downtime. All right. I'm excited to get into this story. If you guys are excited as I am, it might help if I tell you what the... No, I already told you. To... Man, I'm done here. I need a nap. I mean, this shit ain't working right, homie. me. All right. We're back with another Watch Wednesday. This one is titled, Are You Scared of the Devil That Lives Inside You? Not of. Of you. Inside you. <laughs> I'm excited for today's story. If you guys are excited as I am, please go ahead, turn them lights down low, put on something comfy, cup or something special. Let's get spooky. Yeah. This video contains content that some might find disturbing. Viewer oh, discretion yeah. is advised. The human body yeah. is a strange thing. Our skin constantly sheds, our noses are slimy. Yeah. Our mouths and reproductive organs host disease and bacteria. Our seeming inability to be completely comfortable with our bodies is a terror that is exclusive to our species, yep. which makes it all the more horrifying when something inhuman can manipulate that fear. I'm Ryan Bergara, and this is Are You Scared? Now we're gonna be getting possessed. A show where I tell my friend, Shane Madej, the internet's scariest stories. So lock your doors, turn off the lights, and let's see if we can make it until the end. The Devil That Lives Inside Me. This episode of Are You Scared is sponsored by Vessi. Vessi is a shoe company I'm that is you, taking you. over the waterproof oh, shoe market. I don't know. And by waterproof, I mean 100% waterproof and snowproof, not water resistant. These are actually excellent theme park shoes as many theme parks have water rides. And one of the things that is the worst is when you get on a water ride and now your shoes are bubbling with nasty theme park water. Completely dry. That's crazy. They are also super, super comfortable and very easy to keep clean as you can just rinse them with water and wear them right away or toss them in the washing machine with only one day to dry on the weekends model. You can also use them as a truly everyday sneaker, one of the sneakers that you leave at the front of the door and don't have to worry about beating up. They're also sustainably made with less material waste in the knitting process and less water waste and no animal byproducts, so they are fully vegan. Bessie is making very stylish, comfortable, sustainable, Bro, and protected footwear for you to enjoy in your everyday life and take out on a stroll for the weekend. Check out Vessi using the link below and use my code WATCHER to get $25 off of your Vessi shoes. Now, okay. back to Are You Scared? I most definitely fucking will. I love waterproof shoes. That's the shit. The murmuring started about a week ago, around the same time I found the lump on my temple. There was some correlation between the two. That You've been touching your obvious. face after eating pizza? I was making breakfast when the low murmur I'd been hearing Bacon finally grease. coalesced into a voice. Good morning, it said. The sound was high and scratchy, like a passing car playing AM radio. I stood entirely still while my egg sizzled on the stove. Uh, hello? I spoke aloud to an empty kitchen. Your breakfast smells great, the voice replied cheerfully. I am the devil, and I'm going to eat your fucking eyes. <laughs> What a very polite voice. Took a turn. Took a turn. He's going to eat his fucking eyes. I guess, honestly, if it's a toss-up between 
getting something shoved into your eye yeah. and having it sucked out, eh, pop one out. Yeah, but if you suck the eye out, then you have the, the little cord at the back of your oh, eye. Oh, it's like when you it's, get a when you get like a deep deep booger. And yeah, it, yeah. And you you blow it, and then you it pull it pulls, and you can feel it tugging on like your your frontal lobe. Yeah, a you can feel it like, just connected oh! to your brainstem. Yeah, yeah, it's disgusting. Probably what it feels like to get your eye pulled out by the devil. We'll see. I dropped my spatula. What if the devil doesn't pull your eye out? But if it is, if it's inside him, what if it pulls the eye in? I don't even want to know what the fuck that feels like. Could you repeat that? I asked, pulling my bathrobe tight against a sudden chill. About your breakfast or the other part? The other part. The voice confirmed that it was the devil and reiterated its plans for my eyes. It also told me its name was Pedro. Deviling was its occupation. It had been whispering to me for years and was surprised I finally heard it. It thought I should get the lump on my temple checked out. Wait, I got a question. Pedro the devil has, says, I'm gonna eat your eyeballs or your ball balls. Which ones are you giving up? I think the testes gotta go. Yeah, me too. Yeah, testicle Tuesday no more. What is testicle Tuesday? What did you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a self-care day right? okay yeah. that's why you always block off tuesday that's on true your it's got to be to polish the boys you know what i mean get those babies pristine <laughs> after i finished throwing up in the bathroom existential dread always has a way of making me nauseous i examined the lump it was roughly the size of a marble firm to the touch and paler than the skin around it there was no pain though the voice did seem to increase in volume when I poked at it. At this point, the voice, Pedro, it's I guess was singing. Show tunes. Yeah, I mean, you know, I wouldn't mind a little person in my head singing show tunes all day. That's pretty much what my brain does anyway. It so, depends on the show know, tune. Kind of business as usual. You get a little me. harmony going. I mean, everyone's singing voice always sounds better in their head than it does in reality. I mean, right. I can disagree. I mean, not all, not everybody. As a new you, that you have a lovely singing voice. Yeah, I do. I'll own that. Oh, that was not an invitation, but go ahead and take it. Ave Maria. <laughs> I was going to say that would be copyright, but I don't think they'll even come after you for how poorly that's been sung. <laughs> You're nasty. Come on, finish the story. I felt something lick the back of my left eyeball. I screamed and the voice stopped. Sounds a little erotic. What? To the way I described it or just the premise in general makes just you- Just the thought of it, it might be painful, but at the same time, what if you're like, ooh, just awaken something in you, you know? My morning went downhill from there. I gave up on breakfast, feeding my half fried egg to the trash weird. can. I like Instead, it. I tried to drink the world back to being rational, first with wine, then with rum. All that I accomplished never works. was getting pissed drunk by 11 a.m. Literally pissed drunk. I couldn't stumble to the bathroom in time, so I ended up relieving myself in a collection of dying succulents and cacti that decorate my living room. The voice stayed quiet while I was on my bender, but it was a fragile silence. I got the impression it was waiting for its turn to speak. I relished the quiet. The hangover I was barreling toward would be worth the Pedro-free moments. Have you ever not been able to make it to the bathroom in time? I did pee on a wall once. You write your name in it? No, I, I, I was on an L in Chicago, and I uh, I was out with some friends, and <laughs> it was a long ride, and I got off, and I started peeing on a wall, and then lights went on behind me, and it was a policeman. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, and I ran around the corner. Did you put Mr. Wee Wee back in the pants before you did that, or was he out? He was on his way. So when you turned around to face the police officers... I don't know what they saw. After a drunken nap, however, Pedro returned to whispering. How are you feeling? There's piss all over the rug, you know. I felt a gentle but horrifying pressure on the back of There's both of my eyes, as if teeth were resting yeah, on the orbs. Blame, homie. The enamel hesitated, never breaking the surface, but perched on the cusp of snapping and grinding and chewing. I whimpered. That's disgusting. Could you just imagine right now a light pressure being applied to your eyeballs? I don't like it. 
You and your mom ever do that thing where she like pushes her eyeball in and out like that? Like, eh, eh. No, my mom never did that. <laughs> my mom used to do that to me all the time. But can I, I won't touch my actual eye, but it's sort of like. Oh yeah, I could see him. <laughs> I could see, wait, hold on, I could do that. That is freaky, man. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give my mom a call tomorrow. Ask her why she never did that uh, to me growing up. It sounds funny. But the pressure you feel by doing that, go ahead and do it at it's home. It's not pleasant. Viewers, is, uh, imagine that at the back of your eyeball. Yeah. And it, uh, feeling like teeth. An invisible tongue somewhere in my skull began licking from the inside out. I have a thing with eye stuff. No, that's why I wear glasses. And not contacts. Oh. They can pop like tomatoes, bro. Little cherry tomatoes, man. Just pop. I'm good. I'm good. Let's not fuck with the eyeballs, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, please stop, I begged. Excuse me. How's your lump doing? Pedro asked. Gingerly, I pressed at my temple. The lump had split open and was now wet with a greasy, whitish, yellowish liquid. It smelled like a wet dumpster. It's disgusting. Dumpster. Or something. It's disgusting. I man, I had this lump come up on like the back of my neck. Uh, they went in and lanced it, and just got this. It, it looked like you ever pop like a really kind of oldish pimple, and it's got like that little tint of yellow. Then it gets kind of white down towards the bottom. It was like that, but there was this large amounts of it, and it, it, it smelled awful. Ugh. Yeah. And, uh, hate, like, pimple extraction videos. Oh, I my hate God, any kind you should have seen my carbuncle. I don't want to see your Picture carbuncle. Picture me just Stop double me. over, trying to look at my own ass in the mirror. As were you I doing was squeezed. this? Were you with Sarah at this time? Were no, you no, like, no, hey, was... Sarah, come look at my ass. It's huge. No, I actually loathe pimple popping stuff. I don't enjoy it. Oh. I'll, I'll tend to my own. Yeah. You know, but you I don't, don't... want to see people being like, check this out, YouTube. <laughs> no, that's gross. Just mayonnaise everywhere. It's disgusting. disgusting. Uh, I don't like this. I, I wiped like my hand on my jeans and prodded again. The growth had more than split. It had changed. There were curves and ridges and a small hole in the middle. I pawed at the growth with both hands, trying to confirm what I thought I was feeling. My head had given birth to a third ear. Your <laughs> fucking eyes, Pedro screamed inside my mind. The volume was staggering, lighting up my nerves like I'd been struck by lightning. I fell off of the couch and curled up on the floor. Go to the hospital, Thankfully, bird. Pedro was silent for the rest of the night. The next morning, I found another ear blossom. It was small, on my left side, just below my rib cage. Whoa! <laughs> that's, so Whoa. that's so gross. It was clearly another tiny ear, about the size of a quarter. Over the next few days, more and more of the lumps sprouted and burst into new ears of various shapes and sizes. I was spotted with them, a chicken pox of new ears. Tiny ears covered both hands. When I pressed my fingers to the wall, I could hear the house shift slightly in the wind and settle on its foundation. This is disgusting. Well, I got a question for you because I know you're not a fan of tiny little holes all over things. I, is yep, this, yeah, tryptophobia. Is this, this, yeah, this is, is tryptophobia. Yeah, this is kind of like tryptophobia, which I recently discovered I have. Because I've always hated looking at like honeycombs. Yeah. And like the idea of a bunch of little ears on a hand. It's not pleasant. First off, it's disgusting. Yeah. Okay, the picking anything up is now gross because there's like <laughs> like little indent. Ah, oh, God, I hate <laughs> it. This is Hell's Radio, Pedro told me. Mm -hmm. Listen, use your new ears, all of them. Fields on fields of them. Why is this happening, I asked. Pedro didn't reply. I woke up later that night to the new horrible sensation of teeth biting my eyes. There was a tremendous pressure, sharp objects jabbing into me from the inside. Wait, I begged, please stop. Both orbs popped at once. Ha! I knew it! disgusting. I knew we had a couple poppers on our hands. Ugh, it's so gross. Worth addressing because I'm curious if these tiny ears are covering his whole body. Yeah. Whole body? Well, I'm going to assume a good amount of it at this point, which is gross. It's got little a little penis ears. Yeah. Or do you think there's an ear on either side? <laughs> Look like a little elephant. 
pretty that funny. I just, I'm just picturing what a person would look like if they were covered in ears, and it makes me want to fucking throw up. <laughs> like, I don't like it at all. Like, yeah, it's gross. I like this is like the Medusa of ears. <laughs> My vision went black, true black, the absolute absence of light. Something was chewing on my optic nerves, ripping and munching on the deflated sacks that I used to use to see. The pain was unbearable. I screamed until I passed out. Unconscious, no I dreamed of massive trees with lights dangling the from their neighbor. branches. In the dream, the sky was starless, save for one bright red dot against the black, like a stab wound hanging in the air. It took me a moment to realize when I'd woken up. There was no more pain, but I was completely blind. Not just blind, eyeless. There was a wet, sticky substance, I assumed blood, leaking from my sockets. I brushed it away with fingers that were now completely covered in small ears. <laughs> yeah, we get it, dude. dude. By the way, they also had small ears on them. That's disgusting. I just feel like the devil's gotta like clean up his execution here. Why? Unless he ties it all together in a neat little lesson, something about having ears all over you, and doesn't that teach you a lesson about how your eyeballs have popped? When is he a fan of allegories? I don't think he's ever been a fan of like teaching people oh, a I lesson. I think he's poetic. I think sometimes he just pokes people with a stick because it's funny. They were everywhere now, all sizes, small and large, sprouting from every inch, dragging the sounds of the universe into me like hooks hauling in fish. Noise. Any noise was intolerable. The roar of my own breathing nearly deafened me. My neighbor's television sounded so loud, I started to gag. Birds landing in trees, planes flying through the air, even the satellites in their orbit, all of it was crystal loud. clear, and all of it was agonizing. I wanted to scream, but I feared a noise that loud would make me pass out. Worst of all was Hell's radio. Pedro made croaking sounds as I crawled across the floor. The rasp of my stomach ears dragging on the carpet was so painful I threw up. I couldn't see the vomit, but judging by the texture, even my puke was filled with ears. No, it wasn't! That's fucking gross, dude. <laughs> He's just throwing up little tiny ears. This is a fucking nightmare. I gotta say, the person who wrote this is really tapping into something because it has never really occurred to me that ears, they're fucking ugly, dude. I think Guillermo del Toro once said that, like, the reason why Cronenberg, David Cronenberg, is so successful as a director is because he's tapped into the idea that humans are innately uncomfortable with our bodies. Yeah. And this is the personification of that. I'd say so, yeah. Because this is fucking gross. It's no good. Ears, ears everywhere, Pedro sang, but not an eye to eat. I can feel Pedro slinking around in my head as I write this final account. He's hungry and loud, licking my brain. His tongue feels like a shower loofah made out of razor blades. It's difficult to type with each fingertip now a fleshy ear. Not being able to see the screen doesn't help either. Instead, I hear the keys as I press them. I can make out the electrons shooting through the wires of my computer, each letter a slightly different frequency. I can almost listen to my story stitching itself together. Hell's radio crackles and flows all around me. When I feel the first teeth nibbling at my gray matter, I open my jaw ears to laugh. Pedro really is just a state of mind. So, are you scared? I'm confused. This is maybe the first gross out story we've ever read on this show and uh, I'm more confused out. than scared, bro. Disgusting. I ain't gonna lie. Great. I mean, I'm if you look at shit. just one ear for 20 minutes, you'll also be grossed out. Ears are That's gross, true. we gotta lop them off. Also a little weird that if uh, the devil's obsessed with eating eyes, he would make this guy sprout millions of years. That would be like, oh, I fucking can't get enough of these apples. Let me plant a fucking uh, lemon tree. It's probably just as annoying to have eyeballs all over your yeah, body. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that would be gross. I mean, actually, it might be even more gross because it's wet. Oh, they're wet, yeah. Your sheets would be real wet you all wet the time. Sheets. You have wet clothes. It would look like you're leaking all the time. Yeah. Disgusting. Kind of erotic. Why does everything go back to erotic? Hmm. This story was written by Travis Brown, so thank you for Travis. Uh, thank you to Travis Brown for writing this story. He also has a short story collection from Valox Books. Uh, that link is in the description, and his website is travisbrownwriting.com if you want to check out more of his stories. No, oh, fuck you, Travis story was Brown. actually true, so heal up, Travis. That's true, yeah. He is covered in ears, so careful if you want to shout him out. Travis! 
You might hear you. <laughs> Travis. <laughs> Man, fuck that shit. I don't like eyes and I don't like ears, no. No, 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 no. I really enjoyed that. Oh, my God. So Pedro was just a state of mind, huh? Fucking Pedro. All right, I really enjoyed today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video as much as I did, please go down there. Leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. While you're down there, if you want, go on over and slap the subscribe button. Become part of the Belfast Thousand Nation. We do some crazy stuff here. If you want to know when that crazy stuff happens, ding that bell. It might work for you. It might not. But if it do, if it do, jump in on one of my premieres and be like, hey, Bill. You know, sometimes I forget what that ding sounds like because it's been so long since I heard it. And then one day I was sitting there and I was on the pooper. And I was just, you know. Scrolling through my phone, it was about to die, set on the sink, and all of a sudden, boom! You dinged a poop right out of me. <laughs> be like, hell yeah, leave a like and dip, that's all you gotta do. As always, be good to one another, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah, fuck that. No, no more eyes.